while the entire world was admiring India's stunning and ambitious attempt to get close to a soft landing on the moon, a Pakistani was busy trolling random Indian Twitter users using his jealousy-induced language. He tweeted, Please go to sleep. The toy landed in Mumbai instead of landing on the moon. This may sound extremely awkward, but the Pakistani troll was Pakistan's own Minister for Science and Technology. The behavior of Fawad Chaudhry, the Pakistani minister, was in sharp contrast to India's idea of utilizing its space capabilities. A while back, when India was setting up its own navigation system, Navik, B. Jayakumar, the director at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, stated, SAR countries can use our navigation system. SARC, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, also includes Pakistan. It should be stressed that the Indian Space Research Organization was willing to share the benefits of its navigation system with a country which has been hostile to India for many decades. This truly defines the ISRO's character. It is well known that on multiple occasions, Pakistan had sought India's help when it faced desperate situations. In response to a request that was made by former Pakistani Prime Minister for assistance to tackle the power crisis in Pakistan, India explored the possibility of supplying up to 5 million cubic meters of gas per day and establishing a 500 megawatts HPDC link from Amritsar to Lahore to facilitate power trading. On multiple occasions, India came forward to help Pakistan in critical situations. For instance, in 2005, when Pakistan was struck by an earthquake, India offered 25 million US dollars to the Pakistani government as a cash assistance, along with 15 million US dollars in in kind contributions from both private and governmental sources. Again in 2010, when Pakistan suffered from massive floods, India offered 25 million US dollars to Pakistan to help the victims of flood. Through the ISRO's navigation system, NAVIC, and through various other means, India offered to help Pakistan save its own people during natural calamities, but due to Pakistan's insecurities, they did not completely benefit from the Indian generosity. Even former NASA astronaut recognized Chandrayaan 2's intentions to serve humanity. He said, this mission goes beyond the people of India, it advances the knowledge of all of mankind. Through Chandrayaan 2, the ISRO dared to go where no one else has managed to. NASA tweeted, Space is hard. We commend ISRO's attempt to land their Chandrayaan-2 mission on the moon's south pole. You have inspired us with your journey and look forward to future opportunities to explore our solar system together. American magazine Wired said the Chandrayaan-2 program was India's most ambitious space mission yet. Matthew Rees, a representative for France's space agency CNES, said, India is going where probably the future settlements of humans will be in 20 years, in 50 years, 100 years. The global media reacted to ISRO's Chandrayaan-2 in many different ways, but nobody reacted in the way the Pakistani minister did. With so much of jealousy and hatred in their hearts, can Pakistan really progress as a nation? See you again.